Hello and welcome to another online business realm video. If you like our videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with everything we have going on at the channel. So today I'm going to be showing you something that if you're experienced with WordPress, you may think to yourself, man, this is crazy. I don't even understand why someone would not know how to do this. But for novice WordPress users or for those who are starting to make their first affiliate site or whatever the case may be for your online business, this is something that's very important. We are going to be talking about the layout on your visual editor. So what is a visual editor? A visual editor is on a new page when you're creating a page. It is going to be the spot where you input your text and images onto your page. So we're going to click add new right here and we're already in our WordPress admin and we're just going to create a text Let's, see, let's call this junk junk text page. So basically what we're going to be doing here is we are going to be adding text and then some images on top of it. And we're going to be learning how to lay those out in a way that looks smooth. So this is the visual editor right here. As you see, we have three tabs because if you watch one of our other videos, you'll see we've already installed Page Builder onto this website. Page Builder is a layout designer for a whole page, but right now we're just going to be working with the visual editor. So you also have the text tab, which is going to be some HTML coding, which we're not going to really worry about right now. So this is your visual editor, and a lot of people, what they're going to do is they're going to add text. So we're just going to add some junk text here because it doesn't really matter what our text is for this purpose. So we're going to add this here. Okay, so as you can see, we have our text, and it's on our page. If we go ahead and hit preview to the right, it's going to show you what that text looks like on the page. Now, if you're the type of person who is maybe starting a blog, maybe it's a personal blog that you're going to try to turn into a money maker for you, uh, most people are going to just put text in. I have seen so many blog websites that the only thing on each page is text. It looks just like this. And if you ask me, that's super boring. No one's going to continue to come to a website that's only text. I mean, think about it. Think about the things that are huge in marketing right now. Video, images, think about Instagram and all all the in effort that goes into creating a good Instagram account and having beautiful pictures. People want content that's going to keep them engaged. If you go to a website and this is what you see, unless you're looking for a very specific piece of information, you're just not going to look at it. And you're certainly not going to want to follow that blog daily if all it is is a bunch of text. So how can we make this text go well with some images? Well, I'll show you what a lot of people do is a lot of people just they'll want to add an image, so they'll click here, they'll want to add an image to the top. Let's hit add media and let's add some files here. Okay, I've got some files added here that we'll be able to use and kind of demonstrate what it is that we want to do. So the first thing I like to do is you'll notice on our website onlinebusinessrealm.com with a lot of our blog posts is I like to start off with an image up on the left hand corner. So what you're going to want to do is hit add media and let's just say this is the picture. This is my kids. So I know they're really cute. So oh, it added all of them accidentally there. Not sure why. We're going to just start with one and go from there. So we've got one. As you can see, when I inserted the picture, it automatically put it with no alignment. You can tell when it's no alignment because you can hover and it says no alignment. But it'll show just something at the top, something at the bottom, and then just a square for the image. If you look here with the align left, you'll see it shows the square represents an image, and then this is text. So if I want to align it to the left, all I do is hit that button there. So I'm not sure why there's a couple. Let's go ahead and line that back up there. Okay, so now I have that image here. Now if we hit preview, just look how it changes the dynamics of this page immediately. Boom, an image right there. So, if we were to hit align center, then you'll see it's going to put it at the top. Now, look at how this changes 
the layout here of this page. It looks kind of clunky. All of a sudden now we've got an image at the top. The text is really in too tight here. You can adjust that. But look at all this white space over here. We don't want to have a ton of white space. So, especially within a post. We could align it to the right um, by hitting the right align. And you'll see now the picture is on the right. And if we hit preview, you'll see that this is still a better option. This actually looks pretty good with it like this. Now, something to pay close attention to is where you have your cursor when you insert the photo. So I had the cursor right here to the left, and I clicked Add Media, and I added the photo. And then all i got to do is hit Left Align, and it's perfect. Now, watch what happens if... I, let's say, put it in the middle here. Let's say I have my cursor in the middle and I hit Add Media and add the photo. Now it looks crazy. And there's no alignment. Now let's see if I left align it. Eh, it doesn't look that bad to be there in the middle. It's not really the cleanest look, but, um, you know, the best way to do it is to just add it at the very beginning and then you can kind of play with it. If you had a huge block of text, like one giant paragraph and you wanted to maybe put pictures all through the paragraph, and that might be a good way to do it. I like to stick to doing it at the beginning of a paragraph because if you notice, even if you hit Add Media and you add it, and then you hit the, the right Align button, it's still going to be at the very top of the text. So that's a good way to use the alignment buttons to get it to where it needs to be. Now, let's talk about it, an instance when you would want something to be centered. If you want an image centered, it's because that, that image is going to take up the entire line. So let's go ahead and add our regular, our original picture in right here. Let's left align it. Okay. So now let's say we want something to be uh, you know, kind of centered on the screen. Well, we would only want to do that if it's not going to have text to the left or the right. So here I'm going to add, let's just say, this little banner here. And if you need it, if you, if you want the banner to be different size, you could just click Edit here, and you'll see it's got a full-size option, a large option, medium option, and then a thumbnail. Now, the medium, large, and full-size are going to keep your image proportional. With a thumbnail, it's just going to be kind of a cut-out 150 by 150 pixel image. So that's not what we want. We're going to want to just set this to large here. You could also add a link if you want it to be clickable by hitting custom URL and typing something in there. But we're just going to click none for now. Okay. And as you can see, it automatically aligned it with no alignment. We're going to want to click center. Now, the image is so wide it goes across our text, and it's really not going to make a huge difference here in the editor. So as you can see here, but now let's do it with say a left alignment here and you will be able to tell a difference. So with the left alignment as you can see it it has enough room here to add the text to the right. Now what if we wanted this to go all the way across the page? If that was the case we could go ahead and hit full size, hit update, let's go ahead and center align it, hit preview, As you can see, even though the original image size here is set to 1897 pixels wide, basically when you when you do full size and it's larger than the layout of your page, it's going to automatically resize it exactly large enough to go across the page. So as you can see here, we've got a picture here, a picture here. Now, let's say that we wanted to add a couple pictures, and we want them to be right next to each other. Let's say instead of having one large one, we want to have a few that were right next to each other. What you're going to find is that's actually kind of difficult to do with the standard WordPress editor. So if we go here to Add Media. Let's go ahead and add this picture and this picture at the same time. Now, they're a similar size close to similar size, you'll see that if I hit left align here and then left align here, 
is not going to align this image to the left side of this image. It's going to align both of the images to the left side of the text. Now, if we want to center both of them. They're going to be on top of each other. So if we go over here and hit preview, we'll kind of see what that looks like. It looks terrible. It looks like you don't know what you're doing. So that's why I'm a heavy advocate for the page builder by site origin because if you were to use that layout editor, you would be able to put these two images beside each other. Now, you could, with some coding, put these two images beside each other, but I, I like to stick to methods that are coding friendly to where you don't have to code because to me that's pretty friendly. So it, it's going to be hard for you to put two images right next to each other without maybe making them into maybe one image itself or something like that. Just for your standard WordPress user who is not an in-depth graphic designer, you're not going to be able to get the look you want here. So that's why I really suggest using these two methods of taking something that spans across the page and inserting it in between two paragraphs of text and taking one image that is a square or a smaller image that's maybe a circle and put it on the left line of your text. This is going to look a lot better than if we just say put a image in the middle of the text that was a square that there was a lot of white space on the left or the right. So that's how you can use the visual editor to get the look that you want by merging your text together with your images. So thanks for watching our video. I hope you subscribe to our channel so you'll be able to stay up to date with everything we're doing. And until next time, get out there and make some money.